and aloe vera gel. Vegetable glycerin is a humectant that helps to absorb moisture from the environment and applies it to the skin, thereby preventing the skin from drying out unnecessarily. Aloe vera gel is an antioxidant that is rich in minerals, vitamins A and C, and enzymes that help to exfoliate dead skin cells, thereby allowing whatever is applied as um, a moisturizer on the skin to penetrate deeply into the skin to remain moisturized. It has the ability to clear wrinkles and fine lines which makes it awesome in this anti-aging treatment. So we go on to the Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My channel is all about natural skincare, tips, hacks, tutorials on do it yourself, and also lifestyle. Today, I'll be talking about a very interesting topic that will help those with very dry and scaly skin so if your skin is dry and scaly you've tried everything possible and you've not gotten any relief then just sit back because this tutorial will do you great good don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification button so that each time a new video comes up, you'll be the first to know about it. And do like this video and share as well. So I'll be back. Our ingredients for today's tutorial, the glycerin aloe vera mask for dry scaly skin includes vegetable glycerin and aloe vera gel. Vegetable glycerin is a humectant that helps to absorb moisture from the environment and applies it to the skin thereby preventing the skin from drying out unnecessarily aloe vera gel is an antioxidant that is rich in minerals vitamins a and c and enzymes that help to exfoliate dead skin cells thereby allowing whatever is applied as um, a moisturizer on the skin to penetrate deeply into the skin to remain moisturized it has the ability to clear wrinkles and fine lines which makes it awesome in this anti-aging treatment so we go on to the preparation we apply two tablespoons of aloe vera gel to the bowl two tablespoons of aloe vera gel having a hard time coming up then we also add two teaspoons of vegetable glycerin then we mix it thoroughly to get a uniform paste a uniform mixture
necessarily for it to get incorporated well enough. So here we go. That's the homogeneous mixture of aloe vera gel and vegetable glycerin. You can package in a closed container when not in use. And to use it on your skin, ensure your skin is damp. That is immediately after your bath. You apply, allow it to, for it to be absorbed. Then you now apply your daily moisturizer, which could either be a cream, lotion, or butter. This treatment will help to draw moisture from the environment and apply it to the skin so it stays moisturized for longer and also helps the dryness to disappear so this is an application on my arm to see how it feels like Feels very hydrating. I'm sure you got great value from that tutorial. Do not be tempted to try using more than the specified vegetable glycerin because glycerin tends to do the opposite of what it is supposed to do when it is in excess. So instead of it to moisturize dry scaly skin, if you add it in excess because you want it to work very fast it starts drying out your skin and i'm sure you don't even want to experience it because you wouldn't like it one bit so stick to the required quantity and do not forget because glycerin is a screen saver is a humectant that tends to draw moisture from the environment onto the skin so when it is now added to aloe vera which is also a miracle plant that it is very rich in antioxidants so the combination keeps your skin well moisturized endeavor to apply this um, mixture of aloe vera and vegetable glycerin immediately you come out from the bathroom that is when your skin is still moist don't wait till when it dries up you you dry your body with your towel but while it is still damp, you apply this treatment before you now go on to apply any other body moisturizer you, you choose to make use of. It could be a body oil, it could be a lotion, it could be a cream, depending on what you make use of. But I advise those with very dry skin to stick with heavy creams. Heavy creams because it contains more oil as compared to water because that is what they need more of oil compared to water but those with oily skin can make do with cream rich um, moisturizers rich in water that way their skin don't get clogged up and it helps to manage the oiliness but when your skin is very dry what you need is a heavy cream so it could be a very thick cream or a butter both does very well but apply this aloe vera vegetable glycerin treatment first before you now go on to apply the others remember don't allow your skin to get dry while it is still moist after bathing you just apply so I would love to have your feedbacks after you have try this simple recipe please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell button as well so you'll be so you'll be the first to know each time a new video comes up so till i meet you again in my next video stay beautiful <laughs>